Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Suburban Sill. So today I have a plant rescue um, that I got at Lowe's and during the quarantine, plant rescues were super hard to come by because everyone was just clamoring for plants because um, everyone was so bored. But I got these two, um, Dracaena, uh, or Dracaena, I don't know how you pronounce it. You know, I mess up these all the time. Dracaena duramensis, duramensis limelight so this is just kind of like a dracaena fragrance um, but i love the green color and my plan with these is to pot it up in a container um, take care of it until it gets warm and then i'm going to put it outside and i think it'll really flourish in some partial not direct but partial um, sun and warm temps so right now we're dealing with some brown tips of course part of the cleanup process to make this plant look pretty, maybe snip off just the brown parts. That's all you really need to trim. This leaf might not last very long. So there's some yellowing, which says to me, um, I, I think it's an overwatering issue because if I pick these up, they're super heavy and the dirt is just super duper wet. So it's pretty safe to say that we have um, an overwatering situation, but for two bucks a piece, I thought these were a good deal. So let's see what we got. I'm actually just gonna get rid of that wet, wet soil. Oh my gosh as much of it as I can. So we've lost some roots, but there's a good healthy one. I think it'll bounce back nicely once we get it into some better soil. See, that one might struggle a little bit, but we'll hold on to her. See, some of these roots I can tell are rotten. So, I mean, but some of them are okay. Like that probably is okay. See, that one is done, soggy, pulls right off. This looks healthy, the white. That's kind of what you're looking for. So there is some hope, but there's also a lot of rot. So let's just see how far we get. So I've got my planter here. Let me get rid of this tray. Fresh tray. One. Two. A three. So I have this um, container, it's quite larger than what they were in before. So for the bottom part of the container, I have one part potting soil, a part succulent mix, and then I added some perlite. And I'm actually gonna put in some more soil. Let's see here. And I'm probably gonna put in some more perlite. Since I'm not putting any of the other dirt in there, I can actually just kind of fill it up, right? And just kind of place those in there. So let's do that. I'm using Fertilome. It's a nice and airy soil, but I'm still gonna amend it a little bit. So this one is probably the star, probably the best, the best hope. Let 
Let's put some more soil in. Fill her up. Let's see. Let's put you you right there for now. Ignore the bird poop, but doesn't that look much better? Just clean that off with some water. Okay. So there's where we're at for right now. So I'm not gonna water it, obviously. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple days and then I'll give it a nice drink. I don't need to worry about watering thoroughly through the bottom because there's no roots down there or anything. So we'll do some shallow watering to start. And then as it starts to root in, then we'll do it a little bit deeper. But um, hopefully this plant will bounce back and we will check back here and I probably a good month probably is going to take a while for this plant to come around so I will update this video here shortly. I'm back with a quick update. It's been a couple weeks since I transplanted the Dracaena Dracaena into this pot and I felt like where I had it originally the light was not um, enough for recovery so I moved it right in front of the window. Um, this one that was not I don't have a lot of hope in is actually getting worse and upon a little pull test let's see I don't feel that it's like really rooted in or anything whereas these bigger ones when I pull they are in so that's good so I'm gonna get at least two out of the three stems are gonna bounce back I'll leave that one in there you never know we'll see what happens but right now we feel like we're rooted and progress is taking place. Let's see. Okay. Quick check-in time on my Dracaena plant rescue. So I've noticed that it is starting to grow up here. That's new, that's all new. Everything is really rooted in. I mean, it's doing fairly well like it's not great some of the leaves are starting to lose some of their color they're turning yellow and I don't really have it in like it gets a little bit of morning sun here's the sad piece right here that let's see uh, let's just let's just pull it out why not huh all right look there is some roots happening there it's just not a lot so for experiment's sake Let's keep it in here and just see what happens. Right, let's just keep, see what happens. I noticed that the, the leaves still keep getting brown on this one, which is not great. So, Like that one, this one, yeah. It wasn't that bad at first. Which means it's got problems, which we already knew that, didn't we? This one too. So I brought it in, it's been living outside um, and it's kind of colder today, but um, so far so good. I'm gonna give it um, a watering with a little bit of some fertilizer to see if we can't 
feed it a bit. It's never a good idea to feed a plant that's distressed. And this plant is still distressed, so I'm probably gonna use some organic frass that's like got a really low NPK value um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a boost. Another update on my Dracaena Rescue. Um, this has kind of been like a set it and forget it rescue, honestly, since the weather's been so great. I've got a lot of good new growth. So this one down here, if you'll remember, this is kind of the staller, but things are kind of starting to happen. I mean, and it is finally rooted in like pretty well. Like when I do the pull test, like it's in there. So all three of the little rescues are doing pretty well. So you can see they're growing up on a stem there. So um, we're just gonna keep trucking along. But so far, it's coming along great. I mean, it's still not the prettiest, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey everyone, I'm back for my final update on my Dracaena Limelight. Um, as you can see, we have a really good transformation now. Um, a lot of really good growth. This one over here, this is the one that I didn't think was gonna make it, right here in the corner there. And look at how it's bounced back. Now, is it like perfect? No, it's not perfect. But as it grows, it'll get healthier and stronger and will start to look even better. I think this just goes to show you how resilient plants can be and also to not give up. If you have a sick plant that you might be struggling with, try something different. Try some new soil, try some different sun and see if you can't get a change. It's a slow process. Let's see, we started this one in March and it is August. So yeah, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's really fun to see these plants transform. Let me put it in the sunlight a little bit here. Let's see if that helps, there we go. So thank you for sticking with me on this long plant transformation. I hope it was worth it. I hope you enjoyed it um, and maybe learned some things. So look at that stem. See how much it's grown? It's grown a bunch. For more plant rescues and plant projects, visit my website suburbansill.com follow me on instagram for all kinds of plant updates um, and coming really soon you're going to be able to visit my very own plant shop so stay tuned for more details on that thanks for checking out this video and i will see you next time